how to tie the belt, how to tie the belt. One of the most common questions we get at GracieUniversity.com. I'm here to break it down for you guys today. All three variations broken down into three separate slices to leave no misunderstanding, okay? Three variations, standard variation, Hollywood variation, and super lock variation. Let's do it, starting with the standard variation. Find the middle of the belt, okay? Find the middle point of the belt, fold it in half, cross over left over right, left over right, Find the center point, place it right below your belly button, wherever it's comfortable for you. I do it like right in my hips, come around the back, cross over, come back to the front. Boom, and now we end up with two tails right here. Take one, goes over the other, and then the one that went over goes behind both layers of the, the wrap, okay? Boom, so now what we end up with is a high tail and a low tail. Now what I want you guys to do is take the high tail and put it over the low tail. So the high tail, whichever one is up, high, low, the high stays over, goes through, and comes out. Okay? This comes over. You can go inside and grab it if you want, pull the tail through, and you end up with a beautiful square knot. Now, let me show you the most common mistakes at this level right here, at this level. Okay? From here. Number one, people take the low tail and they put, come on a little closer so you can see how ugly this is. They take the low tail, they put it over, they come through, and this is what you end up with. What the heck is this? What do you call this? This has no name, because it's so ugly, okay? Don't ever do that. Instead, take the high tail and go over. Now, the other more subtle, but very common mistake, even amongst those who know how to tie their belt, is the following. People come out, they take this over, they roll it through, they pull it, and they end up with what we call a twister. Do you see the twister? We want to avoid that twister at all. Look how ugly and twisted that little piece of belt is. We want to avoid the twister at all costs. We want to avoid this twister like we avoid Eddie Bravo's twister. Okay? Now, what you have to do instead is come out. The way do you avoid the twister, this is critical detail here, is the tail that is low. Okay? And I don't think this has ever been disclosed on a, on a belt tying tutorial. The belt that is low has to be facing south. This one can't just come under palm up. It's got to go facing down. Now we go over, then we come through, and you pull this tail through, okay? Then you manipulate the tails to make sure the knot is super flat, strong, square knot right there, okay? Standard variation. Okay, the problem with this one, you can get back up. The problem with this one is the crossover here, okay? It doesn't look that nice from the back. So, if you plan on wearing your belt out in public where there might be paparazzi taking pictures from all angles, you might not want to use the standard variation because they might get a picture and the belt is stacked one on top of the other instead of perfectly aligned. So standard variation is very quick. Uh, my personal favorite, my grandfather's personal favorite, but my grandfather didn't have to worry about it because he didn't have to worry about the ugliness from the back because in Jiu Jitsu, rule number one, never give up your back. So no one ever saw him from the back, okay? He was either choking you or defending your attacks until you exhaust it, then he would choke you. So, moral of the story, standard variation is very quick, most commonly used, uh, my personal favorite. Now, there's another one, Hollywood variation, slice two. I think we're ready. Check it out. Same crossover on the gi, find the tip of your belt right here, okay? Take one tip, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap that tip halfway around the spine right here, okay? That's from my belt length, that's how far I go with it. Now, your belt might be a little shorter than long, whatever, then you would go less than halfway. You'd go like to the back of your hip right here. So it's like this much belt, you know, three or four, you know, palm lengths, whatever. Boom, I go here. Now watch what I do. I take the other tail and I wrap it around on top of itself. Look, like completely over the existing belt. Twice. So that it's like a yo-yo wrapping on top of the string, wrapping on top of itself. Now, once you do that, now you end up with this one tail. The other one's hidden and tucked away. Take the single tail, go under, and come up, okay? Now, we have one tail, this is the high tail. The low tail is in there. It's the inner, come closer. It's the inner of the three layers. See the three here? It's the innermost one. We're gonna push it down south, it comes out. And we end up with two tails here, okay? Look, very equal, how beautiful, okay? And now, similar concept. The high tail goes over the low tail. But look what I do. Twister, neutralization. You turn it facing down, come over, then you can come in here and grab this. And look how nice we end up with this beautiful square knot. Now the reason we call this Hollywood, because if you're out in Hollywood, you know what I'm saying, paparazzi everywhere, look, no problem. Okay? No problem, because you have the lineup of the belt. Clear? So there you have it. Hollywood, variation two. The front looks pretty similar. Essentially the same. 
The back, just a little bit more piled on top of each other. But it takes more work to line up your belt and wrap it on top of itself, 100%. Um, you know, if you're sparring, your belt falls off, and you're taking, you know, five minutes to tie your belt again, your partner's re-energizing, so you might get back into that roll, and now they're fully juiced. Whereas if you were to do the standard variation and popped it on, you can get back on them, you know, take advantage of their weakened state. <laughs> Ready? Now, final version, super lock variation, the third slice. Check it out from here. The same, essentially, it's the same start as Hollywood, exactly the same, but the ending is, is a little bit different, okay? We're going to take the low tail, the low tail, after the standard Hollywood setup, we're going to take the low tail, okay, and we're going to come up, and we're going to put it in between the two layers over here. There's actually two layers that wrap around my whole waist, in between those two layers. Got it? The, top, the high tail is going to go inside here, in between the two layers as well here. Look, get the angles here, see that? Two layers right there, we're going in between both of those. Okay, take a picture of this right here. That's super lock setup. Okay, now for the finish. Just kind of tighten it up. Now, not only is it, a, it, it's a really nice looking knot, it's very flat, very beautiful, but the magic of the super lock and the reason it got its name is because the two tails are not in front, free moving. They're actually inside the sandwich of the layers. Both tails are hidden in the layers here. So you can see that's why it's behind and behind. And the beauty of that is it's pretty snug knot. It's not gonna get rubbed like the normal knots will while you're rolling, and it's more likely to stay intact the whole time. So super lock, if you have the time, if you have the luxury of time to, uh, to make this one happen, certainly the recommended variation um, if you have time, okay? Now since we're on the topic of belts, if you're gonna take a picture here at the Gracie Academy, since many of you, you know, especially Gracie University students, we hope you can come down and spend a week with us at one point in your life. If you're gonna take a picture, okay? Thumbs in, look, thumbs in, thumbs in, full grab. Okay, you grab both units. Some people do this, some people do this. No, you grab the whole thing right here. You just leave the knot exposed. Okay, chest up and smile. Or not, depending what day of the week it is. <laughs> so that's the deal. Okay, if you guys are gonna take a picture, keep it real, come on over here. This way I don't have to teach you guys when you get here, you already know the system. Okay, so there you have it. Standard variation, Hollywood, looks nice. Standard knot up front. And then super lock also looks nice. Has the same back and has ultimate control. If you have the time, it's the way to go for sure. I think we're clear. Now, there you have it. Three slices, three belt tying variations. For sure, at least two of you out there are saying, man, why is Henner doing it with his blue belt? Or why is Henner doing it with a blue belt instead of his black belt? A couple reasons. Number one, blue is where we usually see the most problems tying the belt. We have students going to the Gracie University, Gracie Combatives curriculum all over the world, which is essentially a no-gi curriculum, right? So they're not wearing a belt if they're training out of their house, in their garage, you know, at the park, whatever. And then they complete the curriculum, they demonstrate all the techniques, they earn their blue belt, so they get it, but they don't know how to tie it. So now when you earn yours, you'll know exactly what to do. Okay, number one. Number two, blue is my grandfather's favorite color. So I thought it'd be nice to do it with the blue belt. Number three, all the belt tying tutorials on the web have the instructor using their black belt. It's a chance for them to show off their rank, you know? The problem is black is very hard to see what's going on. I watch these tutorials to see who's doing what out there and it's like the black on black on black on black. You can't see where the folds are twisted and turned and uh, the proper positioning of the belt. So I thought blue would give it a more effective visual for someone who's trying to understand the intricacies of the knots and the tie. I could be wrong, but you guys let me know if the blue works better for you. And finally, I wanted to use this as an opportunity to let you guys know that the belt really doesn't matter. And that even when I'm wearing a blue belt, I'm still Hannah Gracie.